Welcome back to Jilly Squat Gaming. We might as well get right into things since we have a nice long trek ahead of us. <clears throat> so in the last episode we uh, we completed the... Uh, what did we complete? I just totally drew a blank. Never mind. <laughs> we did stuff in the last episode. <laughs> and we are back to do more stuff in this episode. So. Today we're going to be focusing on key building restoration, so we're going to be working on the garage. And like I said, we've got a long trek ahead of us because we've got to go pick up one, a trailer, two, fuel, which I don't believe we can pick up at any old gas station like we could in Michigan. Uh, I believe there's actually a factory that has it, and then there's also the two concrete slabs, uh, which are... No, those are what's at the factory. You go down to the menu here. Somewhere, if I didn't pass over it like that, uh, you will find out, yeah, that's the two concrete slabs. <coughs> we may have to go to here, the uh, barrel delivery, and pick up the barrels. So uh, let's see, is that, that is a, uh, yeah, that is the fuel, so. We are going to be going all over this track. <clears throat> now we could, we could go into the quarry and we can pick up fuel from here. From the fuel station. Imagine that. You can get fuel from the fuel station, which is, uh, yeah, that's, that's probably what we're going to do. So we're going to go all the way down to the fuel. Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because we got to come back up this way. Maybe we won't. Uh, it would be a little bit quicker uh, if I get my butt moving and stop pointing at the map. Uh, but if we go <coughs> over to the barrel pickup, it's not that much out of the way. But then again, it's still out of the way. So I think that's uh, I think that might be the plan as well. Just stop in the quarry's fuel station and uh, pick up some. Uh, pick up some fuel so well first we got to get a trailer and I opted to not bring the trailer uh, from the garage because this was on the way so hopefully this is uh, this won't be too big of an issue <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah and and since we just did this not too long ago in the other episodes, I think I am going to end up putting this on a time lapse. So after we pick up our trailer, make the turn, thank you. We need the five spot. Uh, I'm, I'm going to guess that we can't fuel up there, but... I am going to spin around just to uh, get some fuel. And unfortunately, it's a 12 point turn. Now I could go get uh, repairs, but I don't think we have that many. Can I just do this? Yep. So uh, that answers your question there. You don't even have to drive up onto that ramp. You just got to tip a toe in. And you should be good to go. Yep, that is just straight up fuel. Was that worth the, uh, what was it, six gallons? Probably not. <clears throat> but you know what, we're testing some things out today, so. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and just get this, the, uh, time lapse underway. And, uh, hopefully I won't play it backwards like I did in, uh, previous episode. <laughs> And uh, hopefully I'll be able to score some music to it, do some editing, get my skills up uh, with editing better. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can turn out some really good uh, videos. But uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and get underway with the, the time lapse and we'll see you. Uh, I'll probably end up bringing you guys back when we get to the fuel. But we'll, uh, if there's anything fun that happens, I'll, I'll bring you back in before then. So.
right, I'm going to bring you back in right before we get uh, fuel, just because that, uh, that was a pretty long time lapse. So uh, I wanted to try to break it up because we've got uh, we got to make it all the way to Zimogorsk. So we're going to need one last barrel of fuel. But uh, yeah, so we're going to need uh, to get gas as well. So let's go ahead and fill up now, because this seems like a perfect opportunity to do so. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll make our way to Zimogorsk, which pretty much is straight off this road, which is why I decided to go this route. Uh, so I made it a, a little bit longer of a route to get up back up to the north side of the map on the Drowned Lands, but you know, it, it is what it is. You, you're either going to spend time there or you're going to spend time driving up this map and I think the first map's actually easier to drive across, uh, especially once you get through all the, uh, the mud pits and whatnot. So let's go ahead and uh, throw you guys back and do another time lapse, and uh, we'll see you when when we get to the uh, warehouse. Alright, maybe that was pointless to do a time lapse there, but that's uh it is what it is, right? Alright, so let's go ahead and drop off our concrete and our fuel. And let's hope this is done. Fingers crossed. I feel like we should have brought metal, but you know what? It is what it is. We get a garage, a repair station, a trailer store, and a warehouse now, so. Boy, that would have been a lot easier to do if uh, if we did that when we first came into uh, Zimogorsk. I totally forgot how to pronounce it. Zimogorsk. Zimogorsk. Jeez. All right, what do we got here? Oh, oversized trailer or cargo. Sorry. Cool. That's fun. That's our repair bay. That's a. Uh, contest and I'm guessing this is the trailer store way over here yep so now we can uh, we can sell this trailer we can sell the other one that we left here on purpose for probably the first time in my life uh, where is it there, 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 there it is 6800 bucks I don't remember those being so expensive in Michigan apparently they're expensive here in uh, Russia but uh, yeah let's go ahead and uh, Let's let's throw this trailer back on. Why not? What the heck? Why not? I know I just said why not. Uh, but uh, yeah, we might as well do the uh, the consumables. This has been. Oh, 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 that was close. That was close. I didn't think I was gonna be able to attach to that trailer there. So uh, let's look here. We've got consumables, consumables, and consumables. So we've got, yeah, we got a, a heck of a truck to do. Unfortunately, the one consumable is on the other side of the map. But now that we have a, uh, a trailer or a uh, garage here, we can easily recover back to this and, and uh, yeah, we should be good. <laughs> If, if all else fails, we can uh, return the truck and uh, pick it up. We can do we, we do so much more stuff now that we don't have to make that massive drive anymore. And uh, yeah, we're, we're all equipped. We've got our uh, crane on the truck. So yeah, I think what we're going to have to do, though. Uh, I'm going to skip that one for now. Let's go get that one. And then we'll come back and grab these two and then pick up the fourth. Yeah. 
I don't know why I was thinking there was five uh, consumables on the map and only and we only needed to pick up four. Eh, go figure. Come on. There we go. Ooh, I had a feeling that was going to slow us down quite a bit. Come on, let me get to that birch tree. Oh, no rush now that we're uh, we're attached via wench. We don't have to worry about uh, the current taking us away. Uh, but we do have to worry about the stupid tree that's in our way. There we go. Sometimes changing your view just works. I don't know why. Maybe it was just a, a different angle for the winch line to be able to pull us up and over. Who knows? Alright, so let's get to the top of this hill. We are starting to get dark again. Big surprise there. But uh, yeah, let's get let's get up to the top of this hill, and uh, we'll we'll take a nap and wake up in the morning. There we go. Oh. Fire up the engine again because I stalled it. Totally forgot to uh, put it back into auto. <laughs> eh, it, it happens. Come on. Yeah, this, this map is very muddy. And even more mud. You don't you don't get out of the mud in this on this map very easily. Nor do you get to stay out of it for long periods of time. And then they just throw you right back in it when you do. Was it me? Did I not skip the morning? Maybe I should be skipping to the afternoon. Mornings, mornings here are still very dark. And unfortunately, there's a fog. There's always a fog. Right, I'm assuming we can just go straight here. Straight to our target. It's gonna be slow, but we'll, we'll, we'll get there sooner or later. There we go. No, no, we're stuck. <laughs> Come on. There we go. There we go. All right. Go, go ahead and go back to the third person view. 
Actually, would you call it a third person view in this uh in this game? Maybe third truck view? I don't know what second truck view would be. That one I never understood. Second person view or whatever it's called. Um Yeah, that was that was always one that uh baffled me a little bit, but you didn't really need to know the difference. Obviously first person and third person were the easiest. As you guys could guess, I'm not an English major by any means, so uh, don't take any of my advice to, uh, to heart. Especially outside of the game. <laughs> Actually, that probably goes for inside the game as well. Alright, so... I'm, uh, I'm not gonna go down that way because that looks absolutely horrible. I have no attachment points. There's one. All we needed was a little bit of a boost to get us moving. It's tempting having a complete loop around, although this now is looping the wrong way, so I guess I should have went to the right. Oh well. We should be okay. You know, I haven't I've never been that worried in this truck from getting absolutely stuck. So knock on wood. That's, uh, that's still going to be the case soon. Alright, so this is this has actually been a while since I've done this. So let's go into uh, activate anchors. Go into crane mode. And lift it up, drop it, drop it off. Uh, there you go. Nope, that's going down. Let's try to get this. Ah, uh, you know what. Let's bring it in a bit. And... Can we get it to drop? Come on. Nope, come back. Good enough. Uh, let's go ahead and pack the cargo. And restore the crane, and now we're off. Alright, that's one. One out of four done. The other one should be uh, a little bit easier. They're not as far away from each other, so that's a that's a small bonus. Um, and we're stuck. There we go. So much easier. First person view. Throw your winch line out almost instantly and accurately to any tree that you want. Or whatever anchor point you're trying to uh, attach to. Okay, we're gonna back her up a bit. Maybe. <laughs> totally forgot that I was in low plus. Strange. Alright, so. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna basically take the same path we just took back. Are we going up that hill? No. I didn't think I was going up that path. It looks nice. Looks like it would be pleasant to go up until you get closer to it, and then you realize how uneven it is. All 
Alright, so let's see if we can sneak through here. I don't think I'm on the track anymore. Nope. I am I am just in the woods. Uh doing my own thing apparently. Go this way. Try to find all the gaps in the trees. Whoa. This is uh this is really off the beaten path, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I I don't know what's up over this hill. Hopefully it stays clear. Uh maybe it's a road? It is a road. Okay. Let's just keep going at it. Like we've pushed our luck a little bit. I feel like this is a nice clear clearing. Ooh. Uh do I wanna go up? I don't think I want to go up. I think I'm going to stay to this side of the tree line. Just in case. Oops. Um. Are you serious? Did I just roll over? And then just keep rolling over? <laughs> um. What is going on? I feel like I wasn't that far down. Oy vey. Okay, well... Where are we here? Let's, uh... Let's jump in the cat. I, I'm not gonna lie, if I wasn't in first person view, I probably would have noticed how tipsy we were. <laughs> and I probably also would have been able to keep, keep us from rolling over the second time all the way around, so... Unfortunately... Uh, we got a ways to go first. Oh man. Yeah, we gotta go up past that bus stop. We go past it? No, nah, no, we don't go past it. This is the trail we want. We are just gonna hightail it through here. Uh, although the cat doesn't have snorkel, so we might take some damage here. Come on. I think we're I think we're in the good. This cat not having a snorkel. I guess I guess it's true, cats do hate water. <laughs> I know. Good old dad joke. Perfect. Throwing it in high gear didn't, uh, well, worked out pretty good. Alright, let's see how, uh, whoa, 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 let's not roll this thing over, too. Let's see how far away we are. have to cut through. Oh, 
up and over. Yeah, we should be. Whoops. We should be. No, no, I lied. Do we have just the stock uh, winch on this thing? I feel like it was awfully short. Let's see if we can't. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh. Stupid truck. <laughs> I guess that was my fault. I uh, yanked it a little too hard. Go ahead and lock up our differential. There we go. We should be good now. We should be good. Uh, let's go ahead and park this up, stop the engine, change trucks. Um, it's not exactly how I left that truck, was it? Eh, anyways. Alright, uh, you know what, that's probably good there. Uh, what are we doing? We are going into crane mode. <laughs> we can just do this right away, swing it around, lift it up. Something like that. And yeah, perfect. Uh, I am I am a professional. I know not what I do. I just do what I know. Uh, restore crane. There, there we go. Alright, so let's uh let's try not to roll over again. Just as I almost roll over. Uh we gotta go. Yeah, we gotta go that way. And I am almost tempted. There we go. I am almost tempted to just cut through the woods. Ooh. <clears throat> Instead of going up and around. Do I just want to go through? <laughs> I kind of do. I'm not going to lie. Yep, that's exactly what we're going to do. Although we do have a little bit of an issue and I don't know. We're going to have to try to figure out how we're going to solve this. Oh, let's uh, activate the anchors for sure. Sweet. I love when that happens. Let's bust out the crane. Let's try to get this cargo out of the way. Good enough. Good enough. Uh, unpack back. We're good to go there. Store crane. And uh, yeah. Uh, look, I mean, it's a road going down that way, so let's let's go ahead and point down that way and and go for it. It shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be too hard. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. Now we'll just have to do a little bit of adjustment there. I mean, when the rocks roll down the hill, you know it's pretty steep. So, uh, what do we got? We got another. We got one to pick up over here. Can't believe we still have two more to pick up. Can we sneak under the bridge? I think we can. Yep, we're good. It doesn't look like you can, but you can. Alright, so let's uh... 
Let's unpack the cargo. Let's bust out the crane. Can I do this? Can I slide? That's not letting me push it. Letting me push that one. Oh, I guess wonder if I can do this. <laughs> can we slide? Yep, there we go. Crane mode, back into crane mode because I keep hitting the wrong button. For some reason I hit the wrong button again. I don't know what is going on. Maybe it's I I I haven't really uh, played with the crane mode in a while, so I'm a little rusty at it. I apologize. All right, good enough. Let's pack it. Oops. Let's pack it. Let's restore the crane first of all and pack the cargo. All right, now we're underway. Kind of. I mean, we're we're slowly underway. Very slowly underway. I don't know what I just attached to, but I think it's the only thing within this re reaching distance. There we go. Let's get up this hill. Nope. Nope. Now it's all. Ah. Uh, always gonna want to pick that. Good old birch tree. Just in, just in range. Alright, so. Uh, due to my time lapse, I have no clue where I am for time on this video. Um, I probably should have wrote it down and then wrote down all the other parts that I have to edit out and uh, splice together and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I think you know what, we're gonna get up here, and uh, then I will stop and check it out, because I, like I said, I have no time uh, reference to go off of anymore. All I know is I've been recording for over an hour now, probably about an hour and a half. I figured the time lapse is probably going to be cut down to 5 minutes from 20. So, yeah, that's going to be um, roughly about my time. So anyways, this is all fun stuff that you guys get to bear with because I'm not, uh, I wouldn't call myself a professional yet. Uh, maybe halfway there, not too, uh, not too bad, but uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta still stop and take time and start to splice things together before I even get done recording certain videos so but um yeah we're gonna we're gonna pause it right around this corner I don't know why I want to go around the corner this seems like it would be fun this looks like a good stop the nah, spot to stop it and uh, yeah let's let's go ahead and stop it there and uh, we'll see how we'll see how long I've been recording for all right, so I checked the time and uh, <laughs> yeah, I still have about 20 minutes, so <laughs> we're going to keep going. <laughs> I uh, totally thought that I was uh, near my cutoff time, my, w my one hour slot. Yeah, turns out I'm, I'm still 20 minutes away, so let's uh, finish this up. I think we're picking up, yeah, we're picking up the last, uh, last load here. And, yeah, we're gonna get this dropped off. Might even be able to start another mission. Ooh, come on. No, yeah, he stalled. Oh, man. 
I'm surprised they don't have uh, more random rock formations like seance areas and things like that. Like just really weird things, right? Just in the middle of the woods, unexplainable. Is there a stump there? Yes, I should have known better. You know what? I think I can reach it. Yep, guaranteed to reach it. Oh, it's just like fishing. Oh, don't don't hit the truck. Come on, go up. Okay, something like that. Come on. Swing out. Yep, lift it up. There we go. Now we're cooking with oil. Yes, I know. It's supposed to be gas, but same thing. All right, let's uh, store the crane and unpack pack. That takes care of trying to squeeze it on. And uh, yeah, I think we'll just uh, we'll just try to back out here real quick. Maybe we'll get lucky and we won't hit a tree. Ah, uh, nope. Uh, you know what? It works though. We hit one, but it works. That's the uh, that's right there is the beauty of the uh, the fifth wheel hitch. I don't know why I can't think of the name of it for a uh, semi truck, but if it was on a pickup truck, it would be a fifth wheel. Um, there's also probably another name for it. Uh, yeah, let's just keep going left here. Man, if I if I saw this much mod in real life, I don't think I would even attempt to try to go through it. <laughs> Unless I had a uh, way to get winched out of it. But, uh, yeah, anyways. Well, we are, uh, yeah, we should have plenty enough time left to uh, set up a next mission slash task slash whatever happens to pop up next. I don't even know what this is. I, th I think this is just a task. Uh, yeah, it is just a task. So we got one more. I think maybe is that, is that going to be it? That can't be it. Uh, you know what, we'll go this way. We're gonna hit. We're gonna hit, but yeah. Nothing. Nothing. This truck can't handle. All right. So we've got we've got this thing buried in the mud here. Kind of ridiculous, but. I don't even know what that is. I think it's a trailer store. Yep, it is. Alright, so uh, yeah, that mission uh, is accomplished. Let's go ahead and turn all four of those in. 6300 bucks, not bad. Oh, we got another surveying. Alright, well let's see, what is this? Scout recommended. Hmm, shall we? Do we get the scout? Where is our scout? Uh, that's not a scout. Well, you know what? Let's do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> uh, we don't. We have the yar. You know what? Let's let's go do it with this thing. Turn on the uh, all wheel drive. Oh, I'm out of fuel. How'd that happen? Meanwhile, the fuel carrier is completely full. I don't even think we're really going to need this. You know what? We'll, we'll keep it for now. What's the best route over there? Guess we'll go that way and up. 
seems to seems to make sense. Like I said, I don't even know how many survey points there are. Wonder if there's more than one. Oh <laughs> jeez. This little trailer is just getting the crap kicked out of it. Come on, get out of the mud. Get out of the mud. Let's go. There you go. Alright. Speed is our friend here. Speed is our friend. That reminds me of the uh, the little blunder they did when uh, the movie Speed came out. And it's uh, it had came out right about Christmas time, maybe a month or two before. I'd actually have to look it up to see when it exactly came out. But uh, yeah, the slogan was. Well, first of all, it was for VHS, so that tells you how long ago it was. But they were, uh... Basically, their slogan was, Give Speed for Christmas. <laughs> and I'm just like, do they know that speed is a drug? Seems kind of silly, but I still remember that commercial to this day. Uh, I miss, I miss trailers like that from the 90s and, and early 2000s. It's, uh... What was it? I was watching a movie, or I was watching a trailer, and it literally was just a 30 second scene from the movie, and I'm like, they don't even try anymore to make nice, fun, exciting, get you to come watch the, the, the TV show. They just show you a little 30 second clip that really had nothing, I don't think there was any speaking uh, in that uh in the trailer, and I wish I could remember what trailer it was, but obviously it didn't work because it, uh, I didn't watch the movie. And I don't even remember what the heck of the, what the heck the name was of the, uh, the video, but... Anyways. They should probably, uh, put a little bit more time into making some trailers. I miss, I kind of miss all that though, like... The TV commercials, tra like, I, I can't believe I said that. But I do, I kind of miss watching TV and having commercials and, you know, finding out that there's a new movie coming out or something and watching the trailer and being all excited for it and, you know, it's just things you don't get anymore because I don't have any cable. Uh, we just have internet and then we, uh, we stream everything and not to mention, I think I watch most of my entertainment on YouTube anyways, uh, because I enjoy watching other content creators do their content so uh yeah it's it's one of those things where it's like i i, I kind of miss the old days i'm not gonna lie but uh anyways let's see if we uh can get up here or not i really think i'm gonna throw this trailer away oh wow that was it awesome all right that's all we had to do um <laughs> didn't really have a reason to do it but, uh, let's check. Oops. It's one of these missions. Uh, so we still have one to do in the Drownlands. Two to do in the Drownlands. Three to do in the Drownlands. This must be, uh, the three that I'm missing. Quarry? I still got one to do in the quarry? Three to do in the quarry? You know what? That's, that's the issue. I was on contracts, not, uh, not tasked there. Good job. Go me. All right, so we still got the one for the quarry, which I'm going to assume has to do uh, two with the quarry. I'm going to I'm going to assume that we have to to do our contracts first. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to focus on doing the contracts and go from there. So let's see. Let's uh, let's take a look. Uh, east wind. Ugh. No thank you. Logging. No thank you. I don't know what truck I want to use for logging. I think we're going to have to go back to the dairy. Unless... Unless I do something drastic. <laughs> and by drastic, um... Yeah. Maybe I, uh... Maybe I go buy a certain truck. I don't... I don't know if I want to. 
it's supposed to be the best truck in the game. Um, but at the same time, I'm like, do I want to just buy that truck and then never use any other truck ever again? Kind of thing. Maybe, maybe, maybe that will actually uh, make the fun, make make the game make the game funner. Jeez, if I could talk. Um, yeah, let's let's go ahead and do this one. This one seems pretty straightforward. Um, and I think we actually have a truck waiting. Let's uh, let's turn this off just in case. That's probably why it ran out of gas. Uh, where's the Azov? Oh, the Azov is down here. I'd have to go all the way back up there. Is this truck? No, this truck is not. So let's recover this one. And uh, nice thing about this is the truck is right where we need it. Uh, what do we need to bring? Hmm. Let me leave the garage real quick. Oh, we only need. OK, so we do need. Oh, oversized cargo. So that's four slots. Yeah, so let's. Uh, let's go ahead and recover that one. We'll throw that in the garage. Yeah, the dairy's not in here. My. Yep. Uh, do, 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 do. Nope. Hmm. I mean, we haven't used this one in a while. Let's go to customize. Let's see what this thing can do. Engageable. Engageable all wheel drive. So it has those. 47 inch tires are the best it can do. Doesn't have raised suspension. Mm, I think we're going to tuck this one away. Maybe we should sell it. Actually, you know what? Let's sell it. <laughs> Let's sell this one too. We don't use any of these trucks anymore. Um, you, yeah, no, I'm gonna. Hmm. Do I want to use this one? But what happened to it? Let's see. Oh wow, we already have eight hundred fifty-three thousand dollars just like that. Uh, customize. Is it only two slots? Yeah, so the sideboard's only two slots, so that's... Yeah, that's not gonna work. Um, hmm. You know what, let's try to find... where all of our trucks are. Oh, they gotta be tucked away. It wouldn't be in the garage. What? They are in the garage. What? When did this start doing this? Two completely separate garages? Is this the first time that this has happened? I thought our garages were shared. All right, well, there's the dairy. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, have we looked at the dairy in a while? Can we upgrade it at all? I'd rather have that engine than that. That one's in main. Uh, we'll keep that. 50 inch tires, those should be good. What do we got here? Which ones do we have installed? Yeah. Advanced heavy, engageable, that's, yeah. There's really nothing Nothing we can do there. Visuals. Uh, sure, we'll go with those lights. Sell those. Uh, let's go with that one. Why not? I know it's. I know it's a little bit lower. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's fine. Sell those. Uh, we'll go that route. And let's 
go with that one. Why not? Rims, that's fine. Color. That's what I'm thinking. Um. Hmm. Let's go white. No, you know what? I'm gonna go gray. <laughs> that uh, that changes things up a little bit. Where do we try the Dan? I totally forgot about this guy. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Oh, we don't have active suspension. Darn it. So these are the stock tires, which are good, good average. Mm, let's go into the mud tires and go... Average, excellent, excellent. That sounds excellent. Although I probably should look it up and see if the Dan has special tires or not. Uh, yep, yeah, that one. Might as well go, go for broke. Uh, that might hurt our add-on. Let me see what we have for add-ons. Uh, yeah, low saddle for sure. Log carrier, we can get rid of one of them. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna bring the Dan out, and uh, we're also gonna bring out the dairy. So the dairy and the Dan, the double D's. All right, that, that I, I suppose that works. We're gonna we're gonna try to do all this in one. Am I in the right map? I am not on the right map, guys. Uh, let's recover. <laughs> I'm gonna end the episode on a horrible note here. Um, let's go global map. No, what am I doing? Jeez, Dan. We'll recover that. Okay, so let's uh, store this away. Wait, what? Will it not let me store it? Oh my god. Has it been that long since I retained a vehicle? Let's retain that one too. Let's pull them all out. Even you. Why not? Uh, let's go to the global map. I swear, I do not remember them being separate like this. I thought you had to retain them when you went to uh, different areas, not different maps. Am I wrong? Let me know in the comments. I feel like I'm off today. I apologize. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, my brain's not working. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, bust these out. We're going to take the Dan for some reason. I'm not sure why. Yeah, mainly because we haven't used it yet. And we're going to take the uh, the dairy. And yeah, we're going to take these two out. So let's uh, leave the garage there. Let's jump back in the garage. We're going to leave the garage here. We're going to have a nice cool tie-dye kind of color scheme going on for a bit. <laughs> I love how the guy's just floating. Just floating. Alright, so we need a trailer store. So let's go grab our trailers. And we we are going to need the three of, or two of them. We're gonna need this guy. Ooh, do I want to go flatbed or do I want to go? Yeah, we'll go flatbed. What? You're crazy. There we go. Ooh. Whoops. Um. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have to uh, dip our toe. And get repaired real quick. 
And we're fully repaired. I feel like they should have made you, make you uh, drive over the ramp. I think it would be more cool. But anyways. Let's get this stage ready to go out. There we go, there's some light. Jeez. I'm uh, I'm a fan of those uh, the lights on this thing. All right, let's switch over to the Dan. Let's fire this guy up. We haven't used this at all, I think. We went for a quick little run, and that was it. So the Dan, you are going to carry. I'm gonna go with this one. We haven't we haven't really used this trailer that much. There is no really no difference between this trailer and the sideboard trailer. Uh, it's literally just the same trailer without the sideboards. Or with sideboards, however you want to look at it. But uh, let's pick up, I'm hoping. Yeah, the oversized cargo. Oh, oh, wait. Nope, there we go. I'm not on that mode. Could you imagine being on that mode? Oh, that would be insane if you had to crane everything. You'd have to have trucks all set, ready to go everywhere you went. All right, so we got to get down to the broken pipe. Where? Oh, are you kidding me? Concrete slabs are all the way over in. Where's this task at? Corey. That's what I thought. Hmm. Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> Change of plans. We're gonna take the Dan. Uh, we'll, we'll get the, uh... We'll get the dairy taken care of. Over on the, uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll take the Dan, or the dairy back over. We're gonna use that to get the slabs across. I totally thought the slabs were here. That's a bummer. All right, well, you know what? Actually, there's slabs right there. Why can't I grab those? Let me get a crane, throw them on. Uh, let me uh, end the episode there. We're gonna start off the next episode with the Dan dropping off the oversized cargo and then the dairy taking care of the concrete slabs. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, let me know in the comments, and if you can hit the thumbs up, that'd be great. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.